so thank you for letting me be part of this really good experience, which obviously is made by and of all of you. It's, it's lovely just being around and warming my hands on it, honestly. <laughs> so, yes, various me's or various facets of me. We talked a bit earlier about writing for and with young people and encouraging young writers. This is, this is one that was written for and out of the workshop at a point when I realised that over the years it has got slightly harder to say anything like, now just close your eyes and go inside yourself. And more young people these days look at you and say, pardon, where's that? You know, and I'm not knocking it. We are in an age where a lot of young folk have got much more skill than anyone of my age ever was at performing themselves every day on YouTube and on their mobile phones. But I don't want there to be a corresponding loss that goes with that. I really actually offer this as a as a, a bid for inwardness and inner space as part of a balanced life. This is called Room Inside. There's a room in my house where nobody goes except me. A still room, a light room, a where I go to write room, an any day, any time, a middle of the night room, a feeling low and slow or as high as a kite room. Just feel free. There's a room in my house where nobody goes. There are cupboards and corners that nobody knows except me. There's a room in my house where no one has been. Uh, just behind your face room, an orbiting in space room, an earthquake shaking with the thumping of the base room, a somewhere to escape to outside the human race room, but just close your eyes and you'll vanish without trace room. Suddenly, there's a room in my house where no one has been. There's a view from my window that no one has seen except me. There are secret compartments that nobody's guessed except a shadow room, a cool room, a chalky smelling school room, a kidney shaped Hollywood parties by the pool room, an old French bloke in berets playing pool room, a rusty dusty bucket full of grandfather's tools room, a locked junk trunk that might just be full of jewels room, possibly. There are secret compartments that nobody's guessed as another direction than north, east, south, west. There's a room that is private that no one can own. Come and see. A music room, a dance room, a things found quite by chance room, a jungle room, a tiger's in among the potted plants room, a hiding from a hundred jolly uncles and strange aunts room. No family. An X marks the spot room, a don't ask why, why not room, a sauna in the winter and a freezer when it's hot room, a sail to the horizon in a little tin pot yacht room with its own sea, a cellar room, an attic room, a semi-automatic room, a can't sit still because I'm crackling with static room, a much too emphatic sort of amateur dramatic room, a tragedy. There's a room that is private that no one can own. You can build one yourself out of breath, flesh and bone. There's a padlock that opens to nobody's key. Just knock and wait. And knock and wait. And when a voice says, who's there? Say, just me. That is not the age I am, apart from the fact that we are all the ages. Owning up to the age I actually am, I think I'm probably not only the oldest person here, but possibly older than any two of you. <laughs> 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 Terrifying thought. <laughs> <laughs> this is called 
coming of age. Coming of age. When you start to hold pages at a distance, almost like an arm's reach, likewise the detail of days, when you start to see the point in history, when months go past the way weeks used to, seasons, a revolving door in which you seem to meet yourself again already on the way out, coming in. When the boom box of a passing car leaves scorch marks on the air, smoke you choose not to breathe. When you find yourself listening to quiet, as if it was music. When it grows on you, the urge to confide in the young, the secret they least want to hear, that they too are period already, pre-distressed like dodgy antiques for posterity. When you can't help it, when you have to tell them, then. <laughs>